So let's talk about the lifetime value of a patient. So this number is extremely important because you want to know whether or not your advertising is making sense. If your lifetime value of a patient is $1,000 over a five-year period, but you're spending $400 to acquire that customer, then it just it doesn't make sense. Then you need to switch something up extremely fast, otherwise you're going to be just losing a lot of money. So price per visit. When I went to my chiropractor, I'm gonna be using me as an example going to my own chiropractor. So that way you can get an actionable or a real life example of pretty much what I'm worth to his practice. So first visit was $70. The, every visit after that is $35. And visits per year, I go anywhere from six to 12 times a year. It really just depends on whether I can make it in there or not. Um, I try to make it in there as much as possible, but there are some times where I'm not around his practice. And so then we know if I go six times, the first time I went was $70. Every time after that is going to be $5. So for one year, I'm worth to him $245. So lifetime with business, the average person stays in the city that they're living in for around five years. So I'm just going to use that as an example. I was with my last chiropractor for around five years. Um, I don't know how long I'll be living in Cape Coral, so I can't make that assumption right off the bat, but I am going to say the lifetime with a business is five years. So then we know that the revenue per patient for a lifetime is going to be for one year times it by the five years. So then we get $1,225. So over a five year period, I'm worth $1,225 to this practice. So income for referrals, so then we know that every single person that I refer into this business, which I have already referred to, we know that they're going to also be worth $1,225. So again, the number of referrals on average, every one person that has a good experience at a business, they'll refer two people, but if they have a bad experience, they'll tell 12. And it's just, it's just what people do. They'd rather spread bad news than good news. So number of referrals, two. Then we know that total income for referrals is going to be this times two, which we're gonna get 2,450. And now we know to get the lifetime value, we need to add these two numbers right here. And adding those two numbers, we end up getting $3,675. So then we know 10 patients is going to be $36,750. And we'll even do 100 patients on here, which would be $367,500. For a lifetime. So again, if I'm worth $3,675 for the lifetime of me being a patient, um, the cost to acquire needs to be very much under this number. And if we can get it under the $35 number, that's even better. But again, it, it's definitely gotta be way under this number. So let's say it cost them $100 to acquire me. So them spending $100 to make $3,675, the return on investment would be $3,675.
and 75%. So as you can see, the ROI on this is extremely high. So just go look at your data. Go make sure that what you're spending is going to be worth it. Um, you don't want to make a million dollars, but you had to spend $999,999 to make it. That only leaves you with a dollar left over. That is why you need to really track your KPIs, your key performance indicators. What numbers really matter to your business? Um, if you haven't read the book, Measure What Matters, that is a phenomenal book. But these are definitely three numbers that you should be measuring. The lifetime value, the cost to acquire, and your return on investment for when you spend advertisements. So again, you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for watching.